Hey, fam been going crazy, man. Um, so I did ask for 2,000 likes. Your boy look like he got a cool 2.6, man. So told him if we hit that, you know, 2.5, you know, I got to hit him with that collection. So it looks like it's about that time, man. What y'all think? YouTube family. So we are here. We are here, man. First of all, I want to thank all of y'all, man, for for all y'all support. Everything that y'all have been doing for your boy, man. Truly, truly a blessing. And um, y'all the reasons why y'all brought y'all boy to share this this moment with y'all. Of course, you know um, this is kind of a a, a personal thing. Me showing y'all, you know, my whole collection. But I gotta keep my word. Y'all kept y'all word. Y'all hit the like button. Y'all been subbing up. Y'all been going crazy, man. So it's time for me to go ahead and give y'all what y'all have been asking for since. About half a year since I started YouTube, man. I started YouTube back in 2019. I ain't gonna get into a whole spill of that, but I did start officially in 2019 posting shoot videos and stuff, and um, we came a long way. So, uh, Jay making movies, man. Y'all already know, but we are now in the studio, as you can see. When y'all see me from this angle, actually, y'all are seeing me from, you know, an angle where it's pointed back towards that way. So, y'all are seeing all those shoes. And basically, this is, you know, my quick setup right here. I got my lights. This is, you know, my studio where I record. So my lights are right there and these are all my shoes. So, bruh, we got quite a few shoes to get into. So first things first, what I need y'all to do, bruh, what I need y'all to do, no cap. Hey, come here, come here, come here. Hit that like button, man. Hit that like button for your boy, man. Hit it two times if you, no, hit it three times. Cause if you hit it two times, you're gonna unlike it. Hit it three times or hit it five times. Hit it at an odd number. Please do that. Do that for your boy, Jay, man, because this video took some time, bro. So, shout out to the camera person. You can't see it, but that's my daughter. Shout out to her. She is the one filming. Um, alongside, my wife will be helping executive produce this video, man. So, shout out to the wife and my daughter, man. Go ahead, give them a 100 or tell them thank you down below in the comment section for making this all happen. But I can't do that much talking, bro, because... I got a lot of showing to do, man. So without any further ado, man, let's go ahead and start. We're going to get into this collection. We're going to start right here. Then we're going to clear the whole wall. <sighs> Y'all making me do it, bro. So, yes, sir. We're getting things started, man. You know I got to give a big shout out to my fans over at Outrank Brand, clothing brand company that have been going crazy with your boy, man. A lot of the pieces that your boy have been rocking lately did come from them, man. So, check them out. Use promo code Jay the Sneaky Guy at checkout. You will save. You will save big, man. And um, I can't shout them out without shouting my fam out over at Soul Premise. So, right here is where I keep all my Soul Premise bags. All of them, half of them are unzipped. Some of them are zipped. But I go through, like, look, like I said, like... I keep them open because I'm, I'm constantly using these bags, bro. Like, I be switching them out. So, you know, I go here, I fill them up, like, and there's no cap. There's something in all of these bags because I be getting to it, bro. So, definitely, um, sole premise bags, way to go. Use promo code J to sneak a guy at checkout if you want to get to one of those dope premium leather bags. And other than that, sponsors out the way, man. It's time to uh, dive into the video. And real quick, disclaimer, you're going to want to watch the whole video because... As you can see, my collection, other than the Jordan 1s, and even with the Jordan 1s, there's still Jordan 1s up on top. There's Jordan 1s at the bottom. So it's going to be random. I'm not going to do anything grouped up. I'm not going to do 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s. Everything is going to be scattered out. So you're going to want to watch the whole video. If not, you're going to miss a gym. But um, with that being said, let's dive into it. All right, over here on this side, like I said, I'm going to break down all these shoe boxes that are on the floor. Hey, man. Y'all thought y'all boy was capping about the three-piece Three-piece dinner, you know what I'm saying? But um, ain't no cap in my rap, man. You see my shoes right here. Ain't no need for me to cap. But anyways, first shoe to start off with in the collection, triple up. Um, It was just supposed to be a double up, but uh, got three of them. But the Air Jordan 2, as you can see right here, the OG, I can argue and say that I like the Retro Pell better with the black hits right there, but it is what it is. Y'all seen these recently on my top 22 of the year. That's the first shoe. So I'm gonna go ahead and move all these shoes about the way so I can get some space. And look, y'all, look, as you can see, we got shoes everywhere. So we got shoes right here on the ground. We gotta get into shoes over here, man. So let's keep it going. Keep it going. Up next, 
So a lot of stuff that y'all seen recently. We do have another shoe. Y'all know what this is. Welcome to the family. Trophy room. Sevens. Of course. Dopeness. Dopeness. This shoe actually made it to that list right there. It made it. It definitely made it. It definitely made it, man. Hold on. I'm getting a call. And where were we at? Trophy room sevens. Dopeness. Let's keep it moving. All right, y'all. Up next. Up next. Nike box. Jordan 1. This is the Jordan 1 Low. Jordan 1 Low EX. One of the uh, 2022 releases. I do have red laces in there. They don't come with red laces, but you know your boy Jay. Hey, I'm still Mr. Swap It Out. I just, you know, I just choose to, you know, swap whenever I'm ready to swap. I ain't got nothing to prove. Change the game. Y'all already know. Gore-Tex or Gore. Look, y'all know what these is, man. Next shoe. Blueprint Air Max. I got labels on all my shoes so that I can know what is what. Because when you got shoes all in boxes, man, you got to have labels on your boxes. Because you'll be looking for shoes for a long time. But, hey, I had this in my top 22 of 22. Definitely a dope pair of Max in my opinion. So, this is another pair. And, no, no, I'm not doing no counting because I will lose count. But, y'all tell me, hey, anybody who tells me the correct number of shoes that i have in this video i got something for you the first person who comments it down and of course it has a timestamp on the comment so whoever comments the correct number i got something for you man but next shoe got a jordan 12 looking box i don't know what it is but we about to find out i got the jordan 12 royals man so this is the varsity royal air jordan 12s aka royal uh what they call them blue game they call these the blue game the nickname for these um shout out to the homie Vintage, man Vintage was the one who let me get this shoe uh check out the vintage's closet because you might be able to get a pair like this man 160 dollars what the vintage hey shout out to the vintage man this shoe right here is jordan 13 box maybe 14 i don't know let's see what's in it it is the air jordan 13 of course a recent release the uh uncs man so the unc 13s definitely a clean pair of shoes you can pick this up to this day i mean if they're still sitting they should be depending on when you're watching this video but sitting in a lot of places sleeper in my opinion another shoe that your boy does have in the collection and it's staying in the collection keeping it moving right here dope shoe in my opinion bro shout out to the homie just for kicks man shout out to the homie just for kicks on this one he does have a shoe store i probably will link him down below in the description so y'all can check him out but man he blessed your boy with this shoe right here as well as another shoe that i will show y'all somewhere throughout this video but man beauties beauties man can we get a retro jordan brand can we get a retro we don't want what's releasing um in january those concord things that's not what we want this is what we want man this right here is what we want man so your boy does have a pair of olive nines definitely a clean shoe i need another chris pearl man i need it i need it i need it on to the next shoe man look it's a shoe it's in the collection man so design a shoe that your boy does have i do have a pair of products right here and this right here is the prada i don't even know what name it is but i call them the concords man these are the concords right here clean bro you know what i'm saying your boy put on a nice little suit or a nice little fresh cozy fit um and uh i'm stepping out with these right here man still dead stock can kiss the outsole you know what i'm saying but prada's definitely essential to the collection once you reach a certain stage you know you got all your jordans and stuff add a pair of prada's man they clean but prada's in the collection of course gotta have a pair of those moving on to the corner as you can see one of these boxes it could be several different things in this box let's see what we got in here we got the air jordan threes and a hey, fyi y'all gonna see a lot of laceless shoes man because i'll be swapping them i'll be swapping them but um your boy does have the patchwork you know the infamous patchwork threes or is, is this even the patchwork i think i i don't know but i think it's something like that but definitely a collector's piece for me um i do love camo i'm a fan of the camo so your boy definitely had to keep a pair for the collection but those are those got those as well over here another one of those boxes mystery box if you ask me because you don't never know what's gonna be in there this right here is the air jordan 9 the olive joints i mean the beef and broccoli my bad pardon me and it does have that green lace swap that it comes with i think it comes with black laces originally but you know um it did come with an extra set of green laces so i do got the green in there this is another pair that you can actually get for the low right now they might be sitting in your local stores man so definitely a clean pair of uh boots for when it snows it gets bad weather throwing you some boots man but another mystery box that's what we're gonna call those mystery boxes but popping this one open we have uh some georgetown so 
some georgetown sixes man um released back in 2022 could have easily made my top 22 or 22 but um it was just so much that i i liked over this shoe but i'm not the biggest fan of air jordan sixes that's why i probably didn't make my in particular top 22 but i can see it making a lot of people's uh 22 or top 10 list but clean pair of shoes nice premium leather suede all over it dope 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 definitely had to have them in the collection so these are all recent shoes that y'all are seeing of course throughout the video y'all gonna start seeing some of the old classic shoes and all that good stuff but for now we got a lot of recent goodies man so the things that you're seeing outside is gonna be recent stuff man so right here you do have the dj Khaled fives of course this is the uh what colorway is this crimson bliss crimson bliss colorways we the best y'all slept on these couple years y'all gonna look back at these like man those were sitting yes they were but crimson bliss gotta have these in the collection in my opinion dope shoes shout out to dj Khaled. this one is of course gonna be the cell colorway which is nice bro these is nice in my opinion this is actually going for the more money over the two so definitely a clean pair in my opinion so your boy had to have them both all right so up next not really a shoe but i mean we gonna show it this is a gucci box as you can see nothing too crazy um just some slides man uh not no shoes in here but i mean it's considered a shoe it, the price of it costs a shoe but gucci slides clean in my opinion um you know essential man essential when you when you stepping out you know what i'm saying you want to step out with a clean pair of sides what better gucci of course ai Allen iverson my greatest basketball pl basketball player of all time he's my you know what i'm saying he's my goat so shout out to Allen iverson this right here shout out to hit sport city gear this is the all black pair i forgot the specific name of this one but it was like a premium edition um question so question is right here the black pair shout out to hibbit and city gear man they sent your boy this pair right here got an air jordan 2 you know hey if you know you know so air jordan 2 right here this is the air jordan 2 mason chateau rogue man arguably one of the best air jordan 2s to release last year i mean we could talk about the conversations for one of the best air jordan 2s ever man these are clean in my opinion definitely made my top 22 of last year's list just nice detailing on it i have yet to wear it as i do with a lot of these shoes in my collection but we're gonna get to them man but mason chateau rogues not going nowhere no need to uh you know play around we know what this is right here this is the uh soul fly air jordan 13 dope 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 man i haven't did anything with these as far as review on feet none of that stuff i might not do it because it's a little late you know what i'm saying the time has passed shipping on this one man um shipping took forever for it to get to me so i kind of got behind i had other shoes i had to put out so i wasn't able to do a review to these but that doesn't mean that it's not a dope shoe man so of course the air jordan 13 soul flies dope shoe collection worthy up next y'all know what this is y'all know what this is like like jermaine dupree say y'all know what this is so right here black box red writing we ain't gonna waste no time bang bang we got the air jordan 4 black canvas is right here man definitely collection worthy had to have them not going nowhere of course dead stock just like my last pair was but hey clean air jordan 4 in my opinion this is a pair right here bro that your boy i was talking down on these man i ain't gonna hold you i was talking down on this shoe but then i ended up catching them on sale man i think i paid like 130 130 for this shoe man and on 130 if you ask me that's a go bro that's a w when it comes to these man so this is the winter rise the winter rise uh I don't know i think it's the one arise if i'm not mistaken but i i don't know but these right here definitely a clean pair of air jordan threes seen them on a lot of people's feet it made me change my mind so and that's all it takes some time when it comes to shoes to see people rocking them and you know it'll change your whole mind on how a shoe looks man but air jordan threes had to add these to the collection especially for that 130 man we got another jordan and that's all y'all gonna be seeing is mainly jordans we got a 22 2022 release the air jordan 7 of course the um not thinking right now uh citrus citrus sevens red lace swap you know like i said you know what your boy doing out here man but the citrus sevens definitely a dope shoe in my opinion you probably can still find these sitting so don't sleep on these man you're gonna look back and be like bro i should have caught them while they were sitting just like them black cats but hey another jordan box looking just like the uh citrus sevens 
Um, what's in here? I don't know, but it is the IEs, man. So shout out to Hibbit and City Gear again. Hibbit and City Gear did throw your boy this pair. And you're going to see a lot of shoes that was gifted to me from Hibbit and City Gear because I don't get rid of those shoes. I keep all gifts given to me. I don't think it's right to get rid of anything that somebody gives you. But definitely a clean pair of shoes. Another shoe that you can probably catch sitting right now, maybe even on sale, man. So this is a clean pair of IEs in my opinion. Let me know. Let me know about these. I think about those. But so right here, we have the two 18 Air Jordan 2s right here. So this one was a, a Detroit, I want to say, exclusive. Not really exclusive, but it was made after, you know, the Detroit scene. Um, the different things that they had going on out there. Of course, it was a boutique who uh, collab with this shoe but definitely dope details on it as you can see like a leather premium quality on the insole definitely dopeness going on with this shoe so 218 jordan 2 lows haven't worn those yet but i need to i need to because those those are cold bro up next another 2022 release right here man y'all already know what this is by seeing the box i do not have to waste any time on it the air jordan 6 chrome metallic silvers like i said clean pair of shoes right here man i did wear these in the house i wore them in the house i did not wear these outside yet so they practically dead stock man but this is a shoe that is drying up man it's not too many pairs out there sitting you still might can be able to find them sitting but i haven't seen too many of them around here man but definitely a clean pair of jordan sixes very similar to the dmps just with silver on them definitely collection worthy in my opinion this empty box belongs to the air jordan one the Air Jordan 1 Yellow Okra. So this is a definitely dope shoe that I had to add to the collection, man, because I just thought that this was a clean shoe. I always wanted a yellow hitted Air Jordan 1. And this was like one of the first shoes other than not for, for resales. And the not for resales was like 2000 plus. So I couldn't get those. This was my consolation prize, man. So Yellow Okra 1s, definitely collection worthy. So shout out to Hibbit City Gear again. Another shoe that they sent me. The New Balance um, 550s in the white and red colorway. Clean shoe, man. This shoe went crazy in 2022. Um, a lot of people started gravitating to this shoe. Plenty of different colorways. Now they're onto different New Balance silhouettes and stuff. But New Balance, y'all been killing the game, man. But shout out to Hibbit and City Gear for throwing your boy this shoe right here. In this box right here, got another pair of Pradas as you can see right here. So Pradas, Pradas. Your boy been on that Prada wave. And whoo! Ooh, talk to me man we got some Prada highs right here this is the championship cup I want to say if I'm not mistaken but clean pair of Pradas right here man I got to step out in these real soon you know I just be having too many other shoes I be throwing on but Prada highs Prada period man Prada got some clean shoes man so definitely a dope pair of shoes to have in the collection right here we got a different type of box man this is different this shoe was it gifted to me by Hibbit I think so let me see what kind of way it was no it actually wasn't I purchased this actually I'm lying Hibbit did send me this man so shout out to Hibbit and City Gear they sent your boy this shoe man so Hibbit City Gear sent me these right here um, clean pair of multicolored Air Jordan 36 lows. If y'all know your boy has been on 36s and 35s and um, just high number Jordans because I think they're actually decent, man. Especially when you hoop and play sports. Not a bad shoe, man. So the multicolored Air Jordan 1 low in the collection. Whenever I want to step out, play some ball or do anything, got a pair right there to do that with, man. I got a pair of Nike Dunks, man. So now we're starting to switch it up. You know, like I said, it's going to be all over the place. But right here, I do have a pair of Nike Dunks. This is the Nike Dunk Low flamingo so bars slight bars but nike dunk low flamingos clean pair of shoes man it definitely has south beach vibes um what you what you think get a camera thumbs up or thumbs down what you think you like these <laughs> okay man so flamingo dunks it gets a w from the daughter man but these are clean like i said you're stepping out of miami south beach it's a go Maybe it would have been more of a go three or four years ago when my uh, LeBron was down there, but they still a go, man. Flamingo Dunks. Here was a shoe that I got for $50, man. Y'all was hate Boy, y'all said they would have had to pay you $50 to take these out the store, man. Y'all tripping, bro. Y'all tripping, but I do have the LeBron. These are the twos, I want to say, right here. The LeBron twos right here. I don't even know how he played basketball in these shoes because they so big and bulky, but it was a different era back then. Of course, they had chunky basketball shoes and such, but the LeBron 2s, clean pair of shoes right here in my opinion, and I can't believe, I got a side stick on them, but I can't believe that I got these for $50, man. That's a steal to me, bro. So I can't, I can't pass up on a shoe for $50 knowing I could probably pay basketball or do something with them, man, but LeBron 2s, clean pair of LeBrons, 
I mean, they're not really clean, but you you know what I mean. Fifty dollars made them clean. You remember? Dope pair Air Jordans right here in this box. This is, as you can see, from of course it comes with a dust bag. If you guys know, you know. Soulfly Seventeen, man. So this is the Air Jordan Seventeen Soulfly, a dope pair of shoes. I pull out from time to time. You know what I'm saying? I wear it about about once a year, you know what I'm saying? I don't pull them out too much, man, but when I pull them out, I get a lot of head turns because of these shoes. You see the SF on the back, Soul Fly, definitely a nice premium quality, nice leather shoe. We need more shoes like this, Jordan Brand. We need some collabs with some 17s. We need some, some collabs with 14s. Like, do not just do the low numbers. Like, let's bring these type of collabs back. Bring back the OG, um, this is numbered? Bring back the OG 17s, but anyways, Another pair of Air Jordan 11s. This is the Air Jordan 11 Low. Cool grades, which I don't have my laces in because I don't know what I did with them. You know your boy be swapping, man. So Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray Lows. Definitely a clean pair, in my opinion. Um, But I got the highs, so this might not get that much play. The highs might not even get that much play, but it's a clean shoe, man. So I got these in the collection. I might end up selling them. Who knows? But got them just in case I do want to sell them. Right, but Right here, a pair from Reebok. I do have the Reebok Quest. And actually, this is not the question. This is the DMX. So I do got the Reebok DMX guys right here. Definitely a dope shoe. Shout out to Hibbit and City Gear. They also sent your boy this shoe. And um, I think that this is a nice pair in my opinion, man. As you can see, definitely a clean pair. I do have a quick on feet and such with this. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, hit up my videos. But not a bad shoe, man. Nice little retro from Reebok. I ain't mad at these the DMXs. By looking at the box, you should already know what this is. If you don't, Ginger 14s, man. I'm going to just spoil it real quick. Ginger 14s right here. Definitely one of the better. Or, I mean, 14s ain't really released too much last year, 2022. But I could say that this is one of the best 14s to release. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wish they would have made it a low cut to make it just like the OGs. But, I mean... I mean a high, I'm, I'm saying low. I wish they would've made it a high, not like a mid cut like this is, but it's still not a bad shoe in my opinion. I think it's actually clean. If they would've gave us the OG, same type of color of, of the ginger highs and um, did it just like those, I think this would've did way better, but these are actually still sitting at my local hippies, man. Ginger 14, yeah, man. We got a pair of, what is this, what is this? Another pair of Air Jordan 14s, this is the reverse taxis, I want to say. This is the reverse taxis. This is the second installment of the Air Jordan taxi um, that came out. I think there's like three versions now. This is the second one. Definitely a clean pair, man. All over yellow. Got that nice taxi yellow. So it does live up to that taxi name, man. These are dope. Carbon fiber hits, man. Clean pair of shoes, man. Got a pair of Nike pennies my box is damaged i just noticed that but nike pennies right here as you can see i don't know if you can see but it does have a, a social status logo right there in the middle so this is the nike penny one social status collab you got your school paper right there dope presentation on this shoe so it did come with a lot of different accessories a, a plethora like bruh come on it came with tons and tons of laces so it definitely has some dope you know items that came with the shoe and here's the shoe right here dead stock i have not worn this pair i didn't do a review on it um i did an overview so you guys didn't know that i had them but definitely not a bad pair of air uh air pennies in my opinion it's just that um i got the penny ones i already wore those so there's no need for me to wear these this is more like a collector's piece and it does have the interchangeable swoosh as you can see right there the swoosh does come off so pretty dope features on this shoe you know what i'm saying and it makes it look like the og when you take off that swoosh and of course interchangeable swooshes so you got the interchangeable swooshes on the other shoe dope man my pair the first time i owned this pair i actually sold it but i ended up getting it back and we have it right here this is the air jordan 4 Come on, bro. PSGs, man. So this is a dope shoe. I had to double back and get it. Like I said, I regret it selling my pair. And this pair that I do have is dead stock. I haven't yet been able to wear this pair, but coming soon, definitely, because this is a dope shoe, man. So, of course, the PSG4s is a shoe that your boy had to get back and keep in the collection because I just think that it's a... Uh, whoa, what's going on? I think that it's a dope shoe, man. So PSG4s, 
in this box we do have a big 700 on the top so y'all know what this is a yeezy 700 um i mentioned in one of my previous videos i don't know if i'll be supporting yeezy anymore since he's not with adidas and they're still trying to make money off of an idea that they came up with together i don't like that man it's funny business to me but um Here's the Yeezy 700. This is the bright blue Yeezy 700. I haven't worn this shoe in about, I don't even know, over a year I want to say, man. But it's not a bad colorway. Definitely has some nice popping colors on it, as you can see. But bright blue, definitely a shoe that I have in the collection. Another Yeezy 700 right here. This one is my favorite this is my favorite actually i don't know it's between this one and the wave runners man between the suns and the wave runners my two top 700s and i do have a lace swap in this one as well i think it's a lace swap in the other pair too but this is a lace swap it does not come with the yellow laces your boy threw that in there because i think it gives that yellow oh you know what i'm saying a pop it's real real sunny you know what i'm saying like it gives it that real sun vibe so here you go the yeezy 700 suns bro oh. Right here in this box, man, if you know, you know, prices of this shoe shot up. Pretty much all shoes in this silhouette going crazy. This is the Air Jordan 4 Taupe Hazes right here, man. So, I've only worn this shoe, I want to say, one time, bro. One time, I haven't pulled it out since, but definitely a dope shoe. I think this was from 2021, but definitely a dope shoe. I can argue about the materials, the crackle leather and all that stuff, but, you know, it is what it is. When you hold it at a certain distance or if they're on your feet, you can't really tell that material, man. So, solid shoe, in my opinion, the Air Jordan 4 Taupe Hazes. 100% collection worthy. That's why I told y'all y'all cannot skip through. You're gonna miss something if you do. So this right here, shout out to the homie um, Jay Allison over on Instagram, man. He sold me this pair for practically retail because me like a fool, I got rid of my original pair. But this one right here, definitely a dope pair of Air Jordan threes. One of the best in my opinion. And man, I don't know, is anybody else's pair getting like ashy? Like it look like my back tab needs some lotion, bro. I don't know what is going on with that, but this is actually, like I said, one of the best looking Air Jordan 3s, if not the best Air Jordan 3 of all time. And it's getting a little age right here on the front, man. Let me know if y'all pair is looking like my pair. Do I need to put it in a plastic bag or something? I don't know, but Air Jordan 3 Black Cement by you. I don't know what happened. Prices on this shoe shot up, but this is the Air Max Griffey right here and the jackie robinson um collab you know uh dope shoe man this does have you know special tips on the laces all that good stuff but this is the jackie robinson of course griffies dope pair of griffies in my opinion this is the only pair of griffies that i own and i don't own any of the ogs or anything like that but this one's one that I couldn't pass up the jackie robinson griffies dope 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 a lot of details all over this shoe man so dope pair in my opinion had to add these to my collection Look at my roof. Look at my roof. Bruh. Shout out to Hibbit Sports and City Gear. I already know. This is a pet that they sent your boy. This is the Adidas. Bro, what are these called, bro? Forms? Uh, I think these are the forms. The Adidas Form Lows, if I'm not mistaken. They sent your boy over this pair, man. A clean pair just to throw on. You going to a gas station, going out, anything. Clean, quick pair to throw on. They sent your boy this pair. So, shout out to Hibbit City Gear for sending your boy this pair. So, up next right here. Hey, if you know, you know. This is one of them boxes. Collab time. So, I do have a pair of Air Jordan 4 Unions right here. This is the Air Jordan 4 oh no man and um i could argue this is actually my favorite air jordan 4 union collab this colorway i actually like the guava ice at first over this one but when i saw them both in hand this definitely took the cake bro definitely a fire pair prices on this shoe have went up man and um speaking of union jordan collabs we're supposed to be seeing some new collabs later this year man so i'm looking forward to that but this is one that i definitely had to have in the collection and of course i paid resale for it i should start letting y'all know what i paid resale for so y'all can know that your boy does pay a lot of resale if y'all have anything to say about me selling shoes you know what i'm saying but off north four you can see another union right here i just spoke this one up this one is the union air jordan 4 guava ice so the guava ice air jordan 4 unions i've worn this shoe for about 20 minutes on the concrete it really needs to still be dead stock but i wore this shoe for about 20 minutes 
clean clean pair i just really haven't had no fits to go with it so i've just been putting it up but it practically looks dead stock as you can see right there man but got that bubble gum type color you know what i'm saying on it but not a bad shoe in my opinion i don't know what the price in the market is of this shoe at this moment but if i had to guess i think it would be up another air jordan 3 right here this pair released back uh, a couple years ago i want to say that is the varsity royal air jordan 3 of course no laces in them but i do got some laces in the box this came with quite a few laces, but um, these right here, man, dope in my opinion, bro. This was at first an overseas exclusive, then they actually had a small release over in the U.S. on the sneakers app, and um, I wasn't able to hit a pair, man. So I did pay resale for these, got them overseas, but they were cheap. They were actually sitting overseas, man. But this is one of them shoes that I think is nice in my opinion. The Air Jordan Three Varsity Royals, bro. Up next, up next, we got another air jordan 14 it looks like so we got another air jordan 14 right here this is the air oh man oh man these right here bro these is cold these is cold the air jordan 14 what was the name of these man um let me see winter rise the winter rise air jordan 14 these are cold bro these released last year uh well actually two years now i want to say 2021 dope pair of air jordan 14s in my opinion i think that this would have been the air jordan 14 of that year dopeness it don't even seem like it's been that long bro don't even seem like it's been that long but this is actually a fire pair of air jordan 14s in my opinion definitely had to be in my collection bro up next another air jordan 3 right here as you can see if you know you know this one released last year i want to say i have not yet been able to wear this pair Still dead stock, but I did have to pick it up and add it to the collection because it's so clean, bro. It does have an all-over canvas upper, which it ain't a problem for me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no problem. I just think that the shoe is a clean shoe. Therefore, I had to add it to the collection, man. So, Air Jordan 3 muslin, muslin, muslin. Had to add these to the collection. This is another pair Air Jordan 3s that, you know, your boy digs, man. Another iconic shoe. This is the Air Jordan 6 right here, man. Shout out to my bro, Roosevelt. He bless me with this shoe right here man so this right here is the air jordan 6 of course classic classic air jordan 6 infrareds definitely a dope shoe um it means a lot to your boy because if you take a look back to one of my first videos on youtube uh this was one of my first videos right here man so this is actually probably my first jordan retro i want to say i brought to the channel so the air jordan 6 infrareds released what 2019 the 2019 pair means a lot to me because like i said this is where it all started zero subscribers now we at over 100k man so thank y'all and um this is where it started right here so this right here all white box if you can see it does say force on the top man so this is not a regular regular white box right here man this right here is a pair of air forces but it is the air force one off-white mcas right here dope 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 and of course you know your boy had to lay swap them you know gotta throw my red lay swap in them right here so let me know man what's your thoughts on these i think that this might be one of the best off-white air force collabs man but the mcas man these are going for a crazy amount right now and of course of course your boy paid resale of course i paid resale for these man they weren't cheap they weren't cheap bro but um Definitely a dope pair of Air Forces right here in my opinion, the MCAs. Out with this is right here. This is none other than the shoe that you have right here. The Kobe and Gigi Mamba Sita joints right here. Fire shoe, man. I told y'all, bro, like, this is a special shoe, man. Um, rest in peace to Kobe and everybody who was affected during the tragedy that happened. Like, life is short, man. But um, this right here, definitely a collector's piece. I don't think I'll ever wear this shoe. This will probably be the only shoe that I don't see myself wearing because it just... It's a dope shoe, man, it, and it's a special shoe, man. But the Mamba Cita's fire, fire, gotta have these in the collection. Right here, we got another pair of Nike Air Forces, as you can see, man. So, your boy, I mean, I don't think y'all have probably ever seen me in no Air Forces, but I keep them on deck. You see what I'm saying? This is the Air Force One um, Halloween joints. I forgot which the name was of these. Uh, I know it's Halloween PS. Halloween PS. I I don't know, but it does have a glow in the dark outsole right there i have never worn them clean as i don't know what but they do have an orange pair they do have a black pair i want to say a couple other colors in this type of you know skeleton type of look you know what i'm saying not a bad shoe but i just i don't know i just haven't had the time to wear them so whenever halloween comes or something i might pull them out we'll see but right here we got another pair of nike off-white air forces 
been a lot of Air Forces going on, right? So right here, we got the Nike Air Force One Volt Off-White Joints, man. Shout out to my guy. Oh, man. I'm, I'm not even thinking of his name right now, man. But he does own Legends Boutique. Dang, what's his name, man? Forgive me, brother. Forgive me. But he gave your boy a good deal on these right here. Um, I know he does have Legends in Miami right now. So shout out to him. Dang, what's his name? I'm not thinking of it right now. But... Man, shout out to my boy, man. I do have the, the off-white Volt joints right here. This was actually my first pair of off-white Air Forces that I have ever owned. And they still in the collection, man. Very lightly worn. I think I worn these twice. So, very lightly trended on. Let's take a walk. Let's take a walk. So, this right here is, in fact, this green, beautiful shoe right here. The Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro Grinches. Another shoe that I think you should have in your collection. I think I see myself wearing these, man. I think I might wear these, or maybe I won't. I might have something else to take this spot, and we'll just have to see when it comes around. But the Kobe 6 Pro Tro Grinches, arguably one of the best Christmas shoes from a basketball player. And, um, yeah, man, rest in peace, Kobe, man. You know, I got to have them in the collection. Up next, you know your boy loves his boxes. I love special packages, and so this is one that, you know, your boy had the scoop up this is a nike dunk social status collab the strawberry milks and i do have a lace swap in there it does not come with those laces you know your boy has to swap them out but the strawberry milk uh social status collab with the nike dunks dope dope shoe in my opinion worn them very lightly for about 30 minutes you know haven't worn them like that nice materials you got velvet you got your new bucks a hey, solid solid shoe in my opinion man the strawberry milks pair of shoes that i had to have in the collection but right here i do have a nike box right here this is a shoe that a lot of people want but they can't get they done one out of their price range but i did pay resale for this shoe right here this is the air max one or 90 one this is the air max one so this is the air max one collab with power man beautiful shoe bro like come on bro does it get any better than this bro look at the detail bro look how clean that is man the air max one Para. I wore this shoe one time. As you can see, my stock sock liner still crispy clean, and the bottom slightly. You know what I'm saying? I wore it for about two, three hours. But man, the Air Max One Para is definitely one of my favorites. If not, this might be my favorite Air Max One. I'm not the biggest fan of Air Max, but bruh, it don't get no better than these right here, man. So Air Max Para is definitely a collector's item, and it definitely had to be in my collection. Resale, of course. Of Next, course. We back to the Jordans, man. So we back to the Jordans now. I do have a Jordan 5 looking box. I don't know. Maybe 6. But right here, I do have, okay, the Air Jordan 6. I know y'all gonna hate me for this, for this swap, man. But the Air Jordan 6 Carmine's from 2021. Um, If you guys remember, I did have a picture where I posted this wearing an all-star jersey. A lot of y'all like the fit, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all was like, bro, why you got them laces in the Carmine's? I know, you just looking at it like this, you might think that it's crazy, but... It just depends on the fit, bro. But Carmine Sixes definitely had to add to the collection. This is 2021, I want to say. Nike Air on the back. So this is a 2021 pair right here. The most recent release of the Air Jordan 6 Carmine. Up next, another Air Max, man. If you know, you know, man. So this one right here is a dope pair, man. I got this from my guy Jay over at 6 Ave, man. Shout out to him for uh blessing me with this pair. So I do have the Air Max 1. You see her name right there. You see her name. So the Air Max One Susan. Woo wee. I love shoes like this, man. When they get to looking like this, you know, we got all this detail around it, man. Fire, bro. Fire, man. And this is another shoe. I've worn this shoe one time, and I, I got so many shoes. Like I said, I don't get that much time to wear all my shoes. But this is a shoe that I might want to put some more miles on, man, because it's a fire, fire shoe, in my opinion. No miles on it, as you can see. Very, very near dead stock. You know, but um, a dope shoe, man. The details on this one went crazy, man. L Max 1. Susan's fire. All right, so right here we do have a shoe from 2022 right here. Dopeness, dopeness, dopeness. Could have made my top 22 or 22, but... I had too much going on, man. This is the Air Jordan 4 Canyon Purple, man. Women's exclusive. I don't know why, man. They should have gave this to the full family because, um, could have did it, man. Everybody rocking these, but definitely a clean, solid pair of shoes, in my opinion. The uh, Air Jordan 4 Canyon Purples. It did need a little shape up, if you know what I'm saying, but uh, besides all that, it was still a solid shoe. Up next, up next. Hey, man. 
Oh geez, oh geez, man. So this is an Air Max box, as you can see right here. I think these released back in 2020 or either 21. One of the two times, but this right here is the Air Max 95 D-Boys. Neon joints right here, man. So we got the Air Max 95 Neons in the collection. I've only worn these for my own feet, man. I haven't worn them outside of that, but definitely a shoe that I need in my collection, bro. I will put these on one of these days, but as you've seen, I got the Air Max, I'm at the Air Force One Volt that can take this place. I do have another Volt shoe that can take that place. So I got a lot of Volt going on, man. So this might just be, you know, just a collector's piece, but 95 Neon Volt, definitely an OG classic. Gotta have those in the collection. My favorite from 2022 right here, man, but it wasn't, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Although it is a dope shoe, don't get me wrong. I just, you know, I had other things in mind. But this right here was the shoe, the Air Jordan 4 Red Thunders that had people's toes going, what the f Yeah, that's what it had people's toes doing because the sizing on this shoe threw everybody off. They was like, bruh, have Jordan 4s been feeling different to, what my, I don't even got my shoe tree in here. But anyway, they was like, do Air Jordan 4s hurt your feet or do they get smaller? So, this was the shoe right here. The sizing was all off, man. Let me know if y'all agree with me about how the sizing was on the Air Jordan 4 Red Thunder. But other than the sizing, it was a solid shoe. It kind of looked like a flea market shoe. Up next, I think that this is another Air Jordan 4 from the looks of it, Flight. Air Jordan 4, I would guess, but let's see what it is. We got a pair of Air Jordan 4, of course, Fire Red, man. How can we go wrong with this? So this was a, a 2021 pair, I wanna say. The Air Jordan 4 Fire Reds, Nike Air on the back. You cannot go wrong with it. So um, the Air Jordan 4 Fire Reds, dope shoe in my opinion. I've worn this shoe twice. She worn it twice. I need to throw it on some more, man, because it's the solid shoe, man. Dope shoe in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts on these. Was it a must for you? So right here in this box, we got a pair of Air Max. These are cold right here, man. So this shoe released, I want to say in 2021. 2021, this is a collab shoe between Air Max and the one and only LeBron James, man. So we're going to have to take out both shoes for this one right here. This is the LeBron and Air Max collab, of course. The Laker joints, man. So you do have one shoe purple, one shoe yellow or gold. But these right here, dope. I had to have these in the collection. Um, yeah, fire, fire shoe, man. Um, people look at them like, are those shoes even supposed to go together? Yes, they are, and I think that they are dope, man. So the Air Max 95 LeBron collab, man. These is tough, man. Let me know y'all thoughts on these. These is tough. Move, man. Y'all see, I'm getting buried, bro. I'm getting buried, and we still got all this to go through, like. Ah, and that too. Shee. So shout out to Hippie Sports City Gear again, man. They sent your boy over this pair of what the name of these shoes is, man. This is that new model. I forgot the name of them. Pardon me. I don't study shoes like that, but this is Air Max Pre Days. This is the Sunset model right here. Sunset colorway. Air Max Pre Days. Definitely a, a clean shoe, you know, going out running, jogging, running to the store. Definitely a nice pair to put on to throw on with some joggers or something. The Pre Day Air Max. And like I said, this is the Sunset colorway. Shout out to Hibbit and City Gear for sending your boy this pair right here. You know what these are, man. So this right here is the collab between, um, man, what's what's my guy's name? I forgot. But he over there doing stuff with Adidas and and Puma, or whoever he with now, or Asics. He did some with Asics, but this is of course the Sean Witherspoon. There we go. The Sean Witherspoon collab Air Max One slash ninety seven. One of my favorites in my collection. I haven't brought these out in a while. I think I need to, man. I think I need to. Of course, it came with all your extras, the laces, and all that good stuff. But uh, this shoe came out back in what twenty eighteen or. I don't know, 29, I don't remember when it exactly came out, but at the time when these came out, this was the most expensive shoe I ever have bought. I paid like, what, 500 for this shoe? And now, you tell me what the price is, but Air Max 1 slash 97, Sean Witherspoon's dopeness, bro, dopeness. So up next right here, another designer, you know, got a Balenciaga box right here. I've worn this shoe, I think one time, man. One time, this is the Speedrunner Balenciaga's right here. Um, As you can see, Y'all was clowning me when I bought these, but I like them. I buy what I like. I don't know what y'all do, but I buy what I like. But these are the speed runners or speed trainers or something like that. Balenciaga joints right here. They look like socks on your foot, but I do have a pair all blacked out right there. Jordan box right here. This looks like an Air Jordan 3. Y'all probably can see it. What was that? Oh yeah, 
This is a dope shoe right here, man. We need to get a retro. I don't think that these might ever retro, though. We might not ever get a retro of this shoe. Um, I need to throw some laces in here, man. But these right here are cold, bro. The New York Knicks um, Air Jordan 3s, man. Definitely a dope shoe, in my opinion. I got these for like $100. They were on sale. Back when these released, they were sitting. Nobody was checking for them. They were sitting just like you have shoes nowadays sitting. You look at what shoes are sitting right now. The... The, I don't know, man, the Cardinals, anything. They were sitting, and now the price of this shoe was up, man. And look how clean of a colorway this is, man. The blue, white, orange, New York Knicks colorway. It reminds me of the Cardinals. You see? Cardinals. That's why I love them so much. But they are dope. If it would have had Nike Air, it would have just set them off. One thing I don't like is how I can see the blue from the front, but I ain't mad at it, man. New York Knicks 3s, fire. So right here, this was all the way at the bottom. Another Jordan right here. Don't know which one this is, but as you can see, the dent on my box. This is the Air Jordan 7 Flints. Flint 7s, man. These are dope, bro. Definitely like the Flint 7s. These released back in 2021. Clean pair of shoes. These sat. These sat everywhere just like your Cardinal 7s did, man. It seems like all Jordan 7s don't do that well when they release, but they eventually sell out, man. But the Cardinal, I meant the, uh, Flint, the Flint 7s, definitely a dope pair of 7s. This is one I definitely had to have in my collection. Um, A few of them I could have passed on, but this is one of the ones that I definitely had to have in the collection. OG style, definitely clean pair. Look, we're going to write 100K. Thank you. <laughs> but anyways, man, whew, dusty, dusty box right here, all over black box. What shoe is this? It's probably something that I ain't wore. Okay. This is, I don't know what Air Max 95 this is. Do I have the name on it? Uh, Chili Red. So this is the Chili Red Air Max 95s right here. These are clean, man. Um, I don't know what type of collab or what this was made after, but it does have something special to it. It does have canvas materials on the front toe box area. If you take a look at the insole, man, it does have like, you know, like a Chinese tree. I don't know what that is, but it was some sort of a collab that, you know, this shoe was by. So definitely a clean pair of shoes. I paid $100 for these and I wore them one time. Just a clean pair, step out, you know, go out side shoes right here the chili red air max 95s man so definitely a nice pair of shoes in my opinion we just warming up we just getting started man so hey we got the first half out the way threw that back in there now let's keep it moving right here starting the next row got a jordan 12 looking box right here but is it a jordan 12 no it's not man this is the air jordan 11 low ie the bread colorway, man, these released back in 2021, I want to say. Maybe 22, was it 22? Maybe 22, I don't know. But uh, the bread IEs got these in the collection. Air Jordan 12, this is the royalty, man. How you know it's the royalty? It does have that gold hit on it. Um, Taxis only has the gold hits up here. Or is it silver? I don't know. I think it's silver on the taxis, but gold hits on the royalties, as you can see. Definitely a good substitution if you don't have the taxis. I definitely had to grab these as well. Yep, Air Jordan 12, a recent Air Jordan 12 playoffs right here. So protected. You got to have soul protectors on them, but Air Jordan 12 playoffs right here. Definitely a clean pair from 2022. Did make my top 22 list of the year. Fire, fire, OG, nostalgia, all that good stuff, man. It's the Air Jordan 11. Breads. Released back in 2000, was it 19? I think 2019's man, the bread release. This was actually the first year that I was on YouTube 2019. So this was my first holiday 11 that I was able to do on my Jada Sneaker Guy YouTube channel. Fire, a must cop. I've wanted this forever growing up. This was my first time ever owning them. So clean pair right here. Classic, classic shoe. Definitely got to have these in the collection, man. So you seen the blue games. Now you got the flu games where it all started, man. So Air Jordan 12 flu games. Definitely a shoe that I had to have in my collection. Um, wore this a handful of times. Still clean VNDS, all that good stuff. But it's a must cop, man. Gotta have these in the collection. So flu game, you know you gotta have them. I already know what's in here is okay. The camo Air Jordan 10s, man. So 
Air Jordan 10s get slept on. You already know how it is, man. But I'm a big fan of camo, so this was a must cop for your boy. I did have the other colorway that released alongside this one. I forgot the name of it. It was like a different type of camo print, but got rid of that pair, and I kind of regret it. You know what I'm saying? But these, definitely had to keep these in the collection. The camo 10s, dope, dope, dope. Jordan brand needs to bring back more 10s. I need powder blues. Need powder blues. Everything else, double nickels too. Double nickels, powder blues. I need them. I need them right here, y'all. Another mystery box. Right here in this box, I do have the Air Jordan 3. Air Jordan 3 Animal Instincts. This is the OG. I want to say that this is the OG. This is the first Animal Instincts out of the three that released. And I want to say that this might be the best one, man. Um, The first one that came out, of course, it didn't come with those red laces. So your boy had to swap them out, do all that good stuff. But does have that type of, you know whatever bovine fur or whatever on it you know what i'm saying but this is definitely one of the best ones to release in my opinion the animal instincts ogs fire fire now we got some orange boxes man these right here are a pair of nike sakai's which sakai's these are these are the nike sakai ld waffle in the black colorway right here man so i do have the black pair these were one of the first uh pairs of ld waffles well waffles in general to set off the whole brand with the collab between nike the double swoosh the double tongue all that good stuff double mid so this was like in a league league of its own when it first released caught my attention so you know i was on them had to grab pairs this is actually one of my favorites because of the versatileness of it the versatility not what i just said before because i don't even know if that was a word but the versatility of this shoe makes it like my favorite out of the other waffles man so ld waffle the black and white joints tough There's another sakai and this one is the sakai ld waffle fragments man and i don't i don't put these on enough i actually only wore them one time bro these are almost dead stock but uh, i wore this one time for like 30 minutes and i need to actually probably bring these out a little bit more these are clean the uh like i said the fragment and the ld waffle collab just a clean pair right there man very very nice shoe in my opinion i need to put a little bit more a little more uh you know what i'm saying love on these shoes man so Waffles. Another waffle of some sort, it seems. And this is the, oh man, this is the vapor waffle, man. So this one, a lot of speculations, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people was talking about this shoe right here as far as the bulkiness of it. Very, very bulky looking shoe. Ribbon style laces as well as, you know, the, the OG style laces. But this shoe right here, man, um, it was gifted to me, man. Shout out to the homie um you know he gifted me this shoe and this is a shoe that'll never leave the collection man um appreciate him for this he know who he is i ain't even got to call him out but much love man he uh threw these to your boy the oop for the free man so definitely a clean pair of shoes the ld waffle well these ain't the ld waffles these are the vapor waffles man so another orange box y'all so we got another pair of what seems to be some sakai waffles and this is okay this is the first pair i've owned right here this is the uh don't know the exact colorway name of this shoe but this is the first pair that i own i did a video for this one on the channel so you can check this one out probably about three years ago now but this is a dope colorway the first one i have on so you know i've grown my love from just getting this pair in hand the comfortability all that good stuff so these are keepers for the collection i do want to get the white red and blue pair man i still want that pair but that pair is like like five six hundred dollars in my size and i just haven't spent that money yet to get them but Right here, we got another pair of AIs. Of course, Anna Iverson shoes. A big fan of him. He is the greatest basketball player in my eyes. Of course, you know, Michael Jordan is the GOAT. But, you know, I just like the game of Anna Iverson. But here we go right here, man. We got a scuff, man. What's going on, bro? We're going to fix that real quick. Yeah, so just like that, it was a little smudge on it. We took care of that, man. But this right here is the Lakers Allen Iverson question mid colorway. This right here is a dope pair of shoes. I had to pay resale for them. Although I could have got them for retail, I wanted to get them early, so I paid a little fee for them. But these right here, man, very nice pair of question mids in my opinion. Solid, solid colorway. One of my favorites in my collection when it comes to the question mids. But LA Laker colorway, can I go wrong with these? Got another pair of questions right here. Big fan of the questions, as you can see. I do got the Reebok questions. These are the 
double cross double cross joints man so gotta take both pairs out for this one because as you can see they both have two different colors on them one has the blue one has the red so you know uh, from the iconic colorways the blue and the red you got the double cross pair which does have like i said the red and blue hits on them dope dope pair question mids in my opinion so definitely a pair that your boy had to have obviously but popping it open we do have okay we got some undefeated paper right there as y'all can see so this is a collab with undefeated and oh yes yes one of my favorite man this is the olive colorway the uh, air max 97 undefeated collab these right here they uh initially released with a exclusive release years before it was a couple years probably before this one came out that shoe was going for a lot of money then they retro these and they kind of didn't make any noise they were going for very low on the resale they still might be going for a cheap price on resale but i don't buy shoes because of resale i buy them because i like them i couldn't get the first version of this one which was very expensive so i settled for this one which is practically the same shoe with of course it got some manufacturer flaws on there of course we got some glue or something right there but it's all good i still love them man the olive undefeated 97s bro let's get into some yeezys real quick got a couple yeezys up here so this is a yeezy 350 as you can see right there from the box this is the yeezy 350 oreos so this is the oreo color right here these released back in 2022 a retro not uh, originally released but they retro last year and this is the retro i was able to get my hands on the retro and i instantly had to throw them on feet man because i'm the type of person when it comes to yeezys if i don't instantly throw them on feet i end up selling them man so i was like i want to keep these so let me go ahead and throw them on feet so that i'm not so quick to sell them they'll be used i'll be more inclined to keep them man but the oreo 350s dope pair arguably one of the better colorways that released last year in my opinion man this was on my top 10 list top 22 list but it made number four on my list this is the yeezy 350 turtle dub man so this one retro last year fire shoe of course haven't been yet to, uh, able to wear it but i will wear them soon man here you have them dopeness right there man the yeezy 350 turtle dubs arguably one of the best 350s to release in my opinion but um yeah definitely a collection man shoe 100 arguably one of the best 700s of all time man you know your boy has to have a pair of course yeezy 700 wave runners definitely a dope shoe from the first time they retro changed the game it put an emphasis on the dad shoe a lot of people had iffy iffy thoughts about them when they released but man they have grown to be one of the best yeezy 700 shoes and you know it, it put a stamp on the 700 man so definitely a dope pair in my opinion arguably like i said man the best ever 700 to ever release and it's crazy how this was the first colorway to ever release man they haven't topped this just you know dope but a yeezy 700 arzareth so i don't know what model v2 v3 or whatever these are but these are the arzareth joints right here i'm not the biggest fan of this silhouette but i thought that these were dope you know what i'm saying when i first seen them they actually look pretty good on feet man so solid shoe in my opinion the arzareth and this is the only um model of this type that i do have i don't have any of the other colorways i'm not the biggest fan of this self lacing type stuff you know what i'm saying i'd rather lace up my shoes myself let my laces hang but i dig it man you know what i'm saying it's a futuristic looking shoes only worn once but they're not bad you know what i'm saying you can style them up not a bad pair of shoes